This is Mariah from Mariah Kuda Photography. I just wanted to show you a quick little tutorial today. Um, I came across this uh, as I was editing and I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys how I would do something like this. Um, this is a pretty cool shot in front of Old School Square in Delray Beach, Florida. Uh, the couple, as you can see, is having a very romantic moment. And I did some boosting to the blues in the photo to really enhance the sky, but as you can see, her beautiful wedding dress uh, kind of picked up on that and so it's amplified in, in her dress because it's reflecting what's around her. Um, which, uh, you know, looks a little bit too much like this, which is not terrible, but not really what we want. So um, I'll show you guys what I do. Basically, you're gonna take an adjustment brush. Oh, before I just wanted to kind of mention, some people, you know, you could take your white balance adjustment here, your dropper, and just click on her dress. And while it will correct the color on her dress, everything else is like super yellow and uh, that's not really what we're going for. So this is gonna be kind of a different um, way of doing it. So you're gonna grab an adjustment brush over here um, and you're going to set it to temperature. Uh, you're just gonna make it a little bit on the warm side. Since it's blue, we're gonna go to the opposite side and make it warm. Uh, conversely, if her dress was very, very warm, you would go over to the blue side so you can counteract that. But in this case, her dress is very cold, very blue. So we're going to make um, a warm tone on the brush and then we're going to drop the saturation a little bit here. Um, actually, you can even do like an extreme version of this just so that while you're brushing over, you can kind of see what you're doing and then you can um, pull it back later so it looks a little bit more real. So once this is uh, loaded up, there we go. Okay. And then just start brushing it on. And as you can see, uh, it's super obvious what's happening here. It's a little bit extreme, but like I said, we're gonna dial it back a little bit. Um, so go ahead and just start brushing this in and get as close to the edges as you can. I'm gonna speed up this part of the video because it's gonna be really boring for you. So hang on tight. So we're pretty much all finished up here. Um, as you can see, it is still like not quite the right color, but again, that was just so that we can see, you know, the purpose so we can see what we're doing. So we're gonna drop the warmth back down until it looks correct for the scene. There we go, that's looking a little bit better. Um, and then we're gonna bring the saturation back again too as well. So we're just kind of looking to, to normalize it. Um, it is also a little bit on the purple side, so you can even drop the green tint. There we go. Or drop it towards the green side so that it looks a little bit more natural. Uh, a little bit more here. So just play with it and see what looks good. Obviously it's going to be different, um, you know, depending on every scene, every photo, and even your preference is going to dictate uh, that things are going to run a little bit differently. So. That's basically uh, how it goes for me when I do um, when I do this kind of thing. And this is the final product of this photo. Um, so obviously it's a really, really big impact. It's a lot better than having a blue Cinderella dress, uh, especially if you didn't intend on looking like Cinderella. So uh, that's it for today. Hopefully I'll be able to post some more tutorials in the near future. And have a good one.